Okay, I'm going to try you guys a quick walkthrough of how I made my windshields for the hand for the handlebars. This is a sheet of Lexan. It's almost invisible. Unless you look at it sideways and you can see it. I made it extra large. Uh, reason being is that a lot of people complain about their size. They make it one size and they said it was too small and then they have to go back and recut Lexan. Lexan isn't that cheap, it's not super expensive, but still I wouldn't want to have to cut some more. It's better to make it large and then cut away later if you decide that it's um, too big. So what I did was I bought a sheet of Lexan. Here's my sheet. Right there. Goes all the way. Uh, what I just did was I took the width from there to there and I cut it in half. I went about this far down and I just went all the way through. Actually I went all the way through this way and then I just cut it that way. Next I took a template of the Lexan. I made out of cardboard so I can practice and figure out what position I want, you know, higher or lower, you know, where, you know, to right or the left. That's what I did. Okay. Before I played with the cardboard, I added an L bracket. I bought these at Home Depot. These are four dollars for uh, three of them. I mean, uh, three dollars for four of these. This hole at the top was too small for this. If you don't know, this mirror can pop out. There's a nut at the bottom. You, you loosen it and you unscrew this whole thing out. So I took that out, and that screw was bigger than this hole, so I have to drill this hole out. You can uh, work around that by buying uh, an L bracket that has a bigger hole. I didn't know, so I just drilled it myself. No biggie. See, there's the L bracket right there. It sits like that. Next, uh, the holes for this. I bought the screws. The screws are also too big, so I had to make... Um, drill these holes bigger for the screws to fit in so you put that there you put the mirror through you bolt it down you have your old bracket like I was saying before I use a cardboard sheet to figure out the template you know if I wanted it higher or lower and then once I figure it out I poked the two holes through it you know where the L bracket would go I put this over the Lexan I put it over like that, then I drill the two holes, I drill the two holes, and that got me the two, uh, that's the right, and that's the left, you can see it right there, that got me the where the hole should be at. I cut the Lexan with tin snips, uh, this is where I cut the, it was a square, but I made it round, I rounded off the edges. They were kind of jagged, so I took a file and I filed them down by hand. This is the factory cut right here. This is where it was cut by the factory. This is where it was cut by the factory. Where I cut it, it's a more jagged. It's not as nice looking, but that's why I put it to the inside. And also where I cut it at the bottom, that's why it's facing the bottom. Okay. So the nicer sides are facing uh, the top and to the outside, so you can't really tell. Next, I added a dent in the windshield for the hands. Added this dent. It gives the support from buckling. Not that it would. There are reports of people going uh, 70 miles per hour on a freeway. 70 plus, like 75. These did not buckle at all or bend. But still, I thought I'd make it you know, a little bit stronger. I put a bend in it. It also helps to divert the wind from the hands. Okay. The way that I bent it was, let's pretend this is the fire, this is the stove. I did it over the stove. If you have other means of doing it, do it. This is what's available to me. So I took it and I went like this back and forth over the stove. I turned it upside down, back and forth over the stove. Uh, had the fire on low. Uh, I think it was a little bit like low medium setting and back and forth back and forth all of a sudden you'll see the plexi uh, the lexan do this that's when you know it's almost ready you know it'll start to it'll feel it'll it'll feel like taffy so what i did was i stuck this in between two uh two by fours they were sitting like this two by fours on either side i clamped them down that's just to hold it then i bent it like that 
what that did was it gave me a straight edge if you look at the Lexan there's a straight edge from here and it runs all the way down okay now because I did heat it over the fire that this this got a little bit warped uh, no biggie because if you look at it head on you cannot tell you have to look you have to look at it sideways and with the light without the light you can still kind of tell but it's not as much okay so no biggie you still can't see it just a tip uh, don't hold it for too long with the fire because you will form bubbles in your Lexan the bubbles are microscopic you can't even really tell you have to actually look for them but still that's just a heads up okay next the way that I stuck this in I use screws I use washers I use rubber washers on the other side I use rubber washer uh, another metal washer the L bracket and then finally the nut uh, total cost was twenty dollars I would say the sheet of Lexan was twenty dollars but I will be using the rest for a windshield for the motorcycle so again I put in the screw metal washer rubber washer on this side was the rubber washer metal washer and uh, the L bracket and the nut the rubber washers were to give it uh, extra stability uh, uh, you know from from being pinched too hard give it extra cushion on this other side I decided not to use the rubber washers um, I didn't buy enough so I just made my own these are plastic pieces of plastic let's see the bin that I got over here so essentially it's this oh. Uh, this is a container I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, I've had it, it was lying around, so I used it. It had a whole bunch of uh, bolts and nuts and stuff like that, and washers. So that's what I used. I cut a couple pieces out. I drilled a hole in them. There you go. Instant plastic washer. If they run out or they get worn down, I have a whole bunch more I can make from. These are free. So I tighten it down. I'm debating whether or not to use uh, Loctite in, for the in case of the vibrations. Um, I don't know. We'll see what's up. We'll see how this holds up. Uh, if it falls apart for whatever reason, I may use some Loctite. If you know, but then I have to like try to take it off in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. From a distance. This is a far away shot. You can't even tell the Lexan is there. It's kind of hard to make out. You can see the two bolts, the two bolts, one right there, one right there. You can't really see the L bracket because it's silver and there's film everywhere, so it blends in. And the Lexan itself is super clear. Again, if you uh, if it's too big, you can always cut it down to size. You can find the way it is, you can't even see it, it's invisible, so it makes no sense, it makes no difference how big it is. So that's the way that I made uh, the shelf for my hand. And then you can either option A, buy them for $100, dollars. option B, you know, buy beauty gloves for two years and it's $200, dollars. or option C, you can make them, I made them for under $200. Dollars. So very simple, L bracket, screws, washers. Selection itself, cardboard, so you can easily assemble. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.